And the reason is, if we don't have the bacteria in our gut to use the supplements, the vitamins that you're taking, then you are just taking it and then just eliminating it out, right? You're just basically buying very expensive things that has no use end of the day in some ways because your body can't process it, right? So it's quite common for a lot of people with iron deficiency, for example, to be on iron supplements for a long time, but their numbers are still low because they have inflammation in their gut. They don't have the certain type of bacteria that we actually need to absorb the iron from the foods, from the supplements that we eat. And so they still feel crappy and their numbers are low and they still don't feel like themselves. So we need to kind of figure out what's actually going on inside and how to optimize the population a bit better so that they work together well. And you don't may, you may not even need the supplements because you can just extract the vitamins and minerals appropriately from the foods that you're eating, right?